Because I want the sister to understand she is a child of God and she is from the tribe of Israel, from the tribe of the nation of Israel, from the tribe of what? That's right. If you look right here, you got this is the biblical names that the Most High God gives us, right? And these are the bywords that society demons as, right. right? Which one would. Oh, he already told you, you either Gad or Reuben, right? Right. Gad or Reuben. Got you, got you, got you, got you. You got that for me? Yes, sir. You are from the tribe of Reuben or Gad, from the northern kingdom, right? From the, um, the nation of Israel, right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Now, you are familiar with uh, Moses, right? And you understood what his responsibility was, right? What did he do? No, okay, okay, I'll help you. Check this out. Check this out. He, he was commissioned by the Lord, right, to go get his people, the Lord's people, from captivity up under the hand of Pharaoh. They were slip. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. The Egyptian Pharaoh. Uh, was it Ramses? Yes. His name was Ramses, right? Right. So we were in slavery. The Israelites was in slavery under the hand of Ramses, right? The Pharaoh, right? So Moses was commissioned to go. Hey, let my people go. Ramsey the second, to be exact. All right. This is now Moses. This is after the Exodus, after the Moses came and did what the Most High commanded him to do, and now we in the wilderness, right? Now Moses is teaching the people, the Israelites. Read Deuteronomy chapter one verse one. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words that Moses spake to. Israel, your forefathers and foremothers, read. On this side of Jordan, uh -huh. in the wilderness. All right, now get me 28 and 15. Yes, sir. Same yeah. book, just further along in the book. Moses speaking to whom, Sister Tequila? Who is Moses speaking to? Who did he save out of Egypt? Read it again. Yeah, read, that one more time. read it one more time. I need you to listen, sis. We got a lot of distractions these days, but I need for you to pay attention right now, because this is, this is going to be the best thing you've ever come across, okay? This is love right here. This is true love. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now, who was Moses speaking to? Okay. That's right. So we're going to go further back, further along in the book, in Deuteronomy 28, which he's speaking to whom? The Israelites. Read. Give me Deuteronomy 21, 28 and 15. No. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. I mean, it's going to happen. Stipulations, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you do not listen to what the Most High tells you to do, read. To observe, uh -huh. to do uh -huh. all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this. Which, which he what? Which I command thee. Which he what? Which I command thee. Read. This day. It's not an option. Right? The Lord said, look, this is going to happen to you if you do this. But if you do opposite, then this is going to happen to you as well. Right. Read. All these curses. All these what? All these curses. Are curses good or bad? Uh, they bad. Now, you remember when we were talking about the judgments of the Lord, right? Right. So is that a blessing or a curse? Is that good or bad? It's bad, right? That, is that is that not bad? Would you want? Would you take a whole nation based on what you've been raised with? Would you? Can you stomach taking a whole nation of people and doing the things that have been done to our forefathers and foremothers? So that so that's bad, right? That's bad. Read. Mm. And his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we chose so the most. I said, look. If you don't listen to what, I'm, what I tell you to do and follow my commandments, uh, you're going to be cursed throughout your generations. You're going to be cursed throughout your generations. Now, I asked you earlier, Sister Tequila, I said, are we, uh, what's the question I asked her? I asked her, were, were the conditions, are we, I asked you, were we cursed? And you said yes, right? Based off our conditions, are we cursed? So, we're, trying, we're building something, we're putting something together for you right now, right? Now, the children of Israel that was in the wilderness with Moses, the Most High God said, "You, if you don't listen to these, if you do not listen to these, uh, take each of these commandments, you these curses will be upon you forever." So that's two things. That's the one thing we got in common with these people, right? Read. Verse sixteen. Uh, nah, -uh. go to thirty-two. Verse thirty-two. No. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. At what time in history did that take place? 
Check it. I'm gonna read it. Just look at look look, look right look, look right there. What's that? What's that? What's this? What's on this sign right here? What's being displayed on this sign right here? Well, that's the 1835. Right? Where were we at in 1835? I wouldn't thought of it. Huh? Never thought of it. I wouldn't thought of it. But okay, if I if you look at this picture as a whole, what do you see? It start with an S. Well, other than slavery? Yeah, it ain't no. Uh, there you go, slavery. That's what this is depicting, right? So read it again. I asked you what I said. Actually, what time frame did that happen to our people? Read. Verse 32. So real good. Thy sons uh -huh. and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. When did that take place? When was our sons and daughters taking from us at our hands? Have you ever seen roots? Have you ever seen 12 years of slave? Remember that movie. You don't remember that movie? I remember Roots, but not all of it. So what, what do you remember happening in, in Roots when Kenzie got a, uh, when she got a uh, uh, place on another name. plantation? Okay, check this out. I'm going to paint the picture, right? I don't know the name. I'm going to paint the picture. Sister Tequila, what's your, that's your daughter? Yeah. What's her name? Saya. So say like if you, from, were you from Virginia? Yes. Right, slavery started here, right? Mm -hmm. Major docks here, right? Ports, what, Fort Monroe, what else? Is that it? Uh, Jamestown. Jamestown. Right. This is it. This is the home of it, right? So say like you was born from your mother, right? Um, the overseers, the oppressors, they seen that they know that um, they had a little, whatever, uh, a Negro girl. They would sit there and sell you to another man and you would never see your family again. So in this situation right here, your daughter would be separated from you and given to another plantation and you couldn't do nothing about it. Uh, hold on, uh, listen to me now. Can, can you imagine that? So check it, this is, this is what's, what's taking place. Families being separated and you right. never see them again. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we what's this is what we're reading about right now. Read it again. Verse 32. Let thy, that sink in. Read. Thy sons uh -huh. and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing. You're gonna look for them. But it's nothing you can do about it. What else? Read. With longing for them uh -huh. all the day long, uh -huh. and thou shalt be no might in thine hands. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't care how much you kick, scream, cry. There's nothing you can do about it. Once they're gone, they're gone. This is factual. This is history. It's in our photo album. It's in our book, right? This is letting you know that you are indeed a child of God. That's right. From the from the nation of Israel, from the tribe of from the, the northern kingdom. Because I don't know exactly where, from northern kingdom. Understand that? Mm -hmm. Right, you do know this did take place before, right? Yeah. Right, and what are we reading? Right, is this not in the Bible? Yes, it is. Word for word, right? Did it not happen to our people? Yes, it is. Right, and who was Moses speaking to in Deuteronomy 1 and 1? The Israelites. The Israelites, so if right. that happened to your people, that means you are what? If he was speaking to the, I got you. If he was speaking to the Israelites, right? So you're an Israelite. That's right. That's what I'm saying. This, this concerns you. These laws and statutes are for you and your daughter. What's your daughter's name again? Zaya. I can't hear you. Zaya. Zaya. Okay. What else we got? Go to um. All right. Check this out. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. That they going is going into the curses, right? It's going into the curses that the Most High said and told you that it's going to be on you for generations, right? It's going to overcome and overtake you. Are we not in the state of these things? Are we not overcome and overtaken by these curses? Are we not killing each other in the hood? You know what I'm Are we not baby daddies and baby mothers? Right? We are. It's facts. We. And they shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign. For what? For a sign. For a sign. That's S-I-G-N, right? How do we know that's a BP gas station right there? Right. So these curses are what? To tell what? To tell the people that we are what? Those who fit these curses are what? Israelites. That's right. That's what we're doing here. We sit here based off these curses and what the Most High has left behind for us to teach the people that their true heritage and identity. That's what we're doing. We are here for y'all. Read. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed. And who? And upon thy seed. So it, it's on you, your children, and their children, and it keeps going. This happened many, many, many years ago, right? But are we not still in the same conditions? Yes, nothing's changed. When I shout out that we are the children of Israel. You understand what I'm saying? It's no, it's no doubts. You can go home and take it, and you can try to convince yourself that you didn't hear this today, 
but it happened. That's right. Read. And upon thy seed forever. Read. Because thou service not the Because why, why did this happen? Why did it happen, Officer Eli? Because thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness uh -huh. of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore, therefore, what? therefore mm -hmm. shalt thou serve thine enemies. So we're going to serve our enemies, right? Because we chose not to what? Hearken diligently to what the Lord God told us to do. The most I said go right, we went left. That's right. You know? Don't mess with them heathen over there. No, we went and did the exact opposite. And this is why we live in these conditions today. That's why. This is judgment. The judgment we're talking about, right? This is the judgment of our souls. Right? This is the butt whipping that the Lord has given to us. Right? Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against us. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger, in hunger, and in thirst, and in thirst, and in nakedness. All these things, he said, in abundance of all things, right? Because we did not do these, we did not serve the Lord joyfully. What's that? Did not, we didn't serve the Lord joyfully, in joyfully gladness of heart, in right. abundance of all things. Right. That's the reason why we fail. We went, we want to seek the other nations to provide for us, right? We wanted, we wanted to seek the, we didn't want what the Lord gave to us. We wanted something else. We didn't want, green. Verse 28. Uh, Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, mm. which the Lord shall send against thee, Three. in hunger, Three. and in thirst, Three. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in one of all things. Three. And he, he who, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, so this is tequila, no, you're on the phone. Who did this to our people? Sis, have you ever heard of slavery? Mm -hmm. Right? Who, what nation put another nation to captivity? Sis, it's key. Yeah, I have met myself down. Who put us in under these conditions? What nation of people? Okay, let me read it. I'm going to read it again. What? Processing. I know it's a lot. Yeah, I know it is. But just think, this happened, it's factual, right? All right, hold on. It's slaves, yeah. but we're Israelites. Yeah. But God did that, right? Yeah, for punishment. You Will you not punish your child for doing something you told him not to do? Uh, we, it would be some type of, it would be some type of. Just take away toys. That's punishment. You don't think the kids don't want to play their toys? Right. That's, I, I'm not saying everybody got to get a belt on their hind parts. I'm not saying that, but it's still corrective. It's still correction. Right? This is correcting us from being bad. He got you. He got you. Going time out. I'm serious. Read. So who, now the question was, what people put us in these conditions? That's a nation. It's meant several nations, but this right here particularly, who did that? Okay. Who did it? Who put the, the yokes of iron upon our neck? Right? Who cut the babies out of the mother's womb and, 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 and why they're still standing up and, and step on them, their boots on their heads, but they're still alive? Yes. What nation? Who knows? What, what nation? Who, 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 who? I want sister to say, I hear you. Say, what nation did this? Best I know it was God, right? No, what nation? Like, nation that we walk past every day. What race of people did that to our people? I guess all the whites. No, you say, look, no. You know about this, right? This is factual, right? This happened. Right. What did you learn? Who, what race of people did this to our people? It's hard to say. Yes, it is. It's, it is, but it's facts. It's facts. And what? It, yeah, who's selling them on auction blocks right here? Who's this? Look, what's this complexion? Who's that? Well, come on with it, man. Hey, man. Hey, it's it's a truth that you got. To, you got. This is our heritage. We got to own up to this. I know right. it's embarrassing. Back in the day, I remember it being embarrassing. It's been shameful. But now I know it's the reason why I know right. this. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We got to take that swallow and we got to, we got to do what we got to do so we won't be that again. That's or right. get up out of that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So, but hold on. Hold on. What is sister that? Hey, sis. Jesus. Sis, what nation of people did that to our people? I want you to say it loud and proud. The white people. The white folk did that. Yeah. That's facts. The white folk did that to our people. I ain't scared to say it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.